Hi guys, welcome back. I wanna give you a quick message, guys. I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the kind messages that you have for me, you know. All your support, you know, on this La Lahaina tragedy, guys. I am still very emotional on that town in, in Maui, guys. And But I just wanna thank you, guys. Because thank you from the bottom of my heart. And now let's continue to the video. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, guys, I'm gonna be reviewing the seven brand new fragrance oils from Candle Science all year round. So here they are on the full glory, guys, okay? So the first one is Palo Santo and Sandalwood. The second one is Redwood and, mo and Moss. The third one is Sugar Pine and Patchouli. Okay, the fourth one is Midnight Blackberry. The next one is called Velvet Vanilla, Wild Honeysuckle, and Sweet Vanilla Caramel. Okay, guys, so what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm gonna make fragrance strips from all of these guys and I'll be right back. Yeah! Okay guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I made seven different fragrance strips guys. I'm not gonna smell them yet. I'm just gonna leave them there. So first let me just read you a little bit of information that Candle Science has posted on the website regarding these new fragrance oils. Behind every fragrance in this collection lies a wellspring of inspiration. From the mysterious beauty of sun droplet forest to the warm decadence of gourmet confectionery delights. Each scent carries a unique narrative, a tale revealed with every delightful note. With this exploration of our latest fragrance oil collection, we invite you to get a glimpse into the concept of the why behind each new scent. Hear from our testers, get a vibe check, and snack some inspiration for fitting them into your own unique product line. Okay, guys, if you go to the website, guys, uh, they have an infinite amount of videos, guys, and also Candle Science, to me, is like the Bible. You know, they have a lot of videos. Uh, they, uh, they have a lot of education for us candle makers, guys, so take advantage of that, guys, okay? Um, okay, so the first fragrance, oh, it's gonna be Palo Santo and Sandalwood. Sandalwood, yes, okay. So I haven't smelled any of this yet, so this is gonna be the first time. Okay, Palo Santo and Sandalwood. I didn't wanna wet them before because uh, we are in my, my studio and I don't wanna get overwhelmed, okay? Okay, so let's see what this one gives me. Okay, let's see. Wow, it's very strong, but it's, uh, it's very strong and it's very uh, complex, very, very woodsy, very, uh, it makes a statement. Uh, it has something. Let me see what let me see what the uh, the note profile is. Okay, the top note is moss, bergamot, and violet. Uh, the middle note uh, is uh, incense and saffron, and the base note Palo Santo, patchouli, and sandalwood. Okay, you see, guys, reading this um, fragrance note profile, I will never guess about this uh, that all these beautiful scents are on this on this fragrance oil. Okay, okay, this is what the kind of science described this this fragrance oil. Okay, many of you have asked for, for Palo Santo scents and we think our Palo Santo and Sandalwood fragrance oil delivers a natural looks aroma ideal for candles and soaps. Our version is akin to a stick to a Palo Santo before it's lit. There are no smoke elements in this fragrance, which I really appreciate guys. That's why I'm not too keen on Palo Santo uh, because it's very, it's kind of smoky and I don't know, it's, it's not my, my, my favorite go-to scent. You know, but if it's done well, like uh, 1617 did on, on the oil that I reviewed for you guys before, this one is stronger uh, for my liking, okay? So for those of you that like Palo Santo, guys, you're gonna love this one, but I'm gonna pass on this one, okay? And because I said that I'm gonna pass on that one, doesn't mean that the this, this is bad, guys. It's just my own opinion, and I just wanna give you my own, uh, what I think about them, okay? Okay, the next one is Redwoods and Moss. Okay, Redwoods and Moss. Let's see, let's see what this one gives me. Okay, this one is amazing. I I like this one much better than the Palo Santo one, but that's me, guys. I like this earth, the earthiness from this. It's very well combined. It's very well balanced. The the story that this is telling me is like a fairy tale in a forest. Uh, I don't know for some reason it, it calls my. Uh, you know what? What reminds me of this of Taylor Swift? For some reason I don't know why. Uh, it's very earthy, very very grounding. Uh, again, I think it's very spiritual. You know. Uh, but very happy, okay? So let me see, let me read you the note profile from this. The top note is a clove, clove and earth. Middle note, pine, embers, and the base note, cedar and moss. Okay, this whole combination, guys, to me, this is pure holiday vibes, okay? Step into a groove of majestic ancient trees with rosewood and moss fragrance oil. Inspired by the soaring redwood forest in the U.S. West Coast, this atmospheric scent opens up with top notes of spicy clove and damp earth. 
smoking embers at depth to heart of pine rooted in base notes of cedar and green moss, okay? Capturing a sense of pri uh, prime Prime Ball be Natural Beauty, Redwood and Moss is an upscale choice for candles, wax melts, lotions, and more. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, it's very grounding. Again, guys, this is this would be great for a country home, you know, for uh, for a gathering. Uh, I think this could go into any room, you know. I, I think it's perfection. Beautiful. Very earthy, very well done. Congratulations. Okay, the next one. Uh, it's sugar pine and patchouli, okay? I always get mixed up guys between patchouli and palo santo. It's two complete different things. So let's see what this one gives me. Sugar pine and patchouli. <sighs> Beautiful. Uh, it's not my favorite because I think it's, I find it too sweet for me and too deep. Let's see. I think the opening notes is it's what's throwing me off. Uh, the pear is throwing me off. Uh, the top note for this is lime and pear. <sighs> Middle notes, patchouli and sage. Base is balsam, pine, and cedar. Okay, let's see. But the story keeps changing, guys. As the top note dissipates and the middle notes and the, and the bass notes come through, then the storyline changes and I get to love it even more. Okay, uh, this is amazing, guys. Okay, I'm so surprised the candle signs. This, these fragrance oils are really telling a story, guys. Yes! Tranquil, luxury, best characterizes our sugar pine and patchouli fragrance oil. Crisp top notes of lime and pear might be a surprising choice for every, for an evergreen scent. But they infuse sugar pine and patchouli with a delicate sweetness. Earthy herbal middle notes of patchouli and sage are grounded by a base note of trio of resinous balsam, pine, and cedarwood. Yes, okay, now, you see guys, you need to give them a chance to develop the story, guys. Now, now I love it, okay? Again, another uh, earthy grounding scent. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay, the next one is Midnight Blackberry. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, this one smells so sweet and so, so decadent. Wow. Okay, this one is, I'm just, I'm ravishing now. I just wanna eat this. But it's not like a, a, a true woman. It's, it's not like a, like a, like a, a dessert uh, kind of a scent. It's sweet, but it's embracing, and it's, I don't know, let's see what the fragrance profile is. Okay, the top notes is lime and orange, okay, the citrus is, is really like, wakes you up. Middle notes, blackberry, raspberry, and champagne, okay, the champagne really makes it like adult, very like, very serious, very like fun, very like wicked, you know? And the base note is sugar, praline, and pine, okay? It is sweet, but it's not like the sweetest, like the sweet baking kind of scent, you know? Uh, this is really amazing, guys. Okay, our Midnight Blackberry Fragrance Oil is a true to life, juicy treat for the senses. Top notes of uplifting lime and orange, a brightness to luscious blackberry, raspberry, and sparkling champagne middle notes. Sugar and praline are a touch of sweetness and the base, while a hint of pine provides outdoorsy freshness. Yes, beautiful. This is very complex. Again, this is like very like a storytelling uh, story. Um, fragrance oil, beautiful. This would make a beautiful candle, guys, all year round. Amazing. Wow, 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 wow. Candle signs, bravo. Yes, okay, the next one is Velvet Vanilla. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Talk about vanilla. You looking for a strong vanilla? This is the one, guys. But it doesn't smell like cheap, uh, vanilla. It smells very, uh, it has a smokiness on it, like it's velvety. That's why the name is Velvet Vanilla. It's very yummy. It's not sweet, like a dessert kind of vanilla, you know. It is it has a kind of sweetness because vanilla is kind of sweet, you know. But it, it really complements the background of the sweetness. It's beautiful. Okay, let me see what's in here. The top note is linen. It's very sophisticated. Middle note, amaretto, jasmine, and smoke. Okay, and that's what it is, guys. It's the flora in the middle notes that really like, makes it, this one very decadent. And the base note, musk, praline, vanilla, and amber. Okay, you see now, as the top notes dissipates and the middle notes and the, bottom, and the base notes come through, it's very yummy, very embracing, very warm. It's perfect for the winter, guys. Very loving, very, very luxurious too, okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, the next one is Wild Honeysuckle. 
Let's see what this one gives me, guys. Ooh, right away. This one is perfect for spring and summer. It's so loving. It's so, in a, in a, in, in a way, kind of sweet. Like, I love the smell of honeysuckle, guys. And I like, to, I like to blend honeysuckle with something else. I like to blend honeysuckle with gardenia and jasmine. Okay, this is very amazing, guys. Okay, the top note for this is green leaves and bergamot. Wow. A middle note, honeysuckle, jasmine, and amaryllis. And the base note is powder and sandalwood. Okay, I would have never guessed that it had all these beautiful notes, okay? I think the combination of the green leaves on the opening notes, it's like, it gives way to a more deep floral aroma, you know? And it's very, again, this one is also very embracing, guys. Very sentimental. Uh, it's beautiful, guys. Very delicate, very luxurious. Beautiful. Amazing, amazing, guys. Yes. Okay, and the last one is sweet vanilla caramel. Okay. Okay, let's see what this is. Very sweet, this one. Ooh, another yummy one. Okay, this one is too sweet for me because you know I'm not too crazy about sweetness on a, on a candle. But for those of you that love the caramel scent, aroma, you are gonna love this one. It is so pure caramel. Okay, the top note is cinnamon. The middle note is uh, coffee, caramel, brown sugar, uh, brown sugar and, and butterscotch. Amazing. And the base note is chocolate and vanilla. Bravo! Yay! Oh my goodness, guys. Bravo. Candle Science, you did it again. I'm so impressed with all these beautiful brand new scents, guys, all year round. So check them out on the website, guys, candlescience.com. I want to thank Kathy for sending me all these beautiful fragrance oils, guys. Go to the website, guys. Again, like I tell you, candlescience.com. They have an infinite amount of beautiful education for us, candle makers, guys. They have a lot of uh, learning material, guys. They have a lot of uh, uh, demonstrations, uh, you know, uh, how to build your business. It is so, so, so good for you guys to be involved in all that kind of education in order to grow in the candle business, okay? Okay, guys, so I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. For those of you that haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Give a like to the video, guys. And if you would like to, guys, please visit my website, candleromance.shop, so you can purchase all my beautiful candles, okay, guys? Until the next video, guys, take care of yourself. I love you. Yes! Yeah, success! Thank you, Candle Science! You did it again! Yes!